Hello everyone, this is our 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara Arctic Edition with 69,008 miles. Front end looks nice, steel front bumper, rough country LED pods in the front. Very, very minimal wear on the front, looks really nice. No issues with the hood whatsoever. The uh, front grille area looks phenomenal. Very, very few, very, very small rock chips. Not noticeable in the slightest. You really, really have to hunt for them. The bumper looks great too. The paint isn't discolored or chipped. It looks fantastic. Looking at the driver's side front over fender here. Looks fantastic. The paint is very well intact. Looks good. The actual inner part of the fender here looks great as well no issues arctic badge looks good driver mirror looks great it uh looks to have like some very very small white specks on it i don't know if that's incredibly small um paint failure from like sand or something it's very difficult to notice and even then it's not really off-putting uh driver's side front door looks excellent no blemishes, no issues. Sidestep looks really nice as well. It's not beat up or damaged. Rear driver's side door looks great. Rear driver's side over fender does have a pretty noticeable amount of wear on it. Um, some chips, a few gouges, some paint discrepancies, lots of scratching. from two maybe, I will say about maybe 10 feet away, it's not noticeable. But the closer you get to it, you can kind of see some of these bigger spots here. It's not the worst looking thing in the world. It's not totally beat up, uh, but there is some wear on it. Here, it's all in the front part though, all over there. The top and the back look really good. Very minimal wear in that area, but it's all on the side and the front here. Uh, I did not go over the front wheel and tire classic five spoke jeep wheels look great toyo all-terrain open countries look really nice rear driver's side wheel small chip there otherwise they look great moving around to the back steel bumper on the rear looks very aggressive does have a spare tire, it is just not mounted right now. Trailer hitch receiver down there in the center. Polished dual exit exhaust tips, does have an aftermarket exhaust. The uh, back tailgate looks good, does have some scratching there and there. That one's a little bit more prevalent. Uh, but other than that, there's really no wear on the back. You do have maybe one or two incredibly superficial scratches on the metal part of the bumper. I mean, but honestly, that's what it's there for. And they're very few and far between. A tiny bit of scuffing here on the passenger side on the back bumper, but barely noticeable. Here on the rear passenger over fender, however, uh, some defects in the paint on that. Lots of scuffing, a little bit of gouging, scratching on the top. And there is a significant amount of rock chips on the front of the uh, rear passenger over fender here on the side. Tons of rock chips and scratches, gouge at the top. This one has, uh, has seen some stuff. It's all still intact overall though. It's not like pulled off of the vehicle or in disrepair. It's just very surface level, small cosmetic stuff on that that I'm nitpicking. Uh, same with the top on the rear. Some paint chipped there, some scratches and such. Not perfect condition, but it's not uh, it's not ugly either. Rear passenger door, uh, we kind of have rock chips just scattered throughout the center of the door there. Some at the top. They just look like tiny little white dots. Same with the front driver's side door, bigger rock chip there. But most of them are really small, just peppered white spots across the door. And that is the only flaw there on the center of the vehicle. Passenger side, running board looks really good. Passenger mirror looks excellent, no flaws somehow. Somehow you get rock chips all over the side, but none on the mirror. That is interesting. Uh, front passenger fender looks phenomenal, no issues. Front passenger over fender. 
same. It looks great, no issues. Might have like two or three tiny, tiny little rock chips on the front, but not noticeable at all. And the front passenger wheel, excellent condition, no issues. We'll go ahead and walk around the Jeep from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you're to own the vehicle yourself and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a more accurate representation of the true cosmetic condition of the vehicle. Hopefully, I've done that. I think this is a pretty clean uh, Jeep Wrangler. Looks pretty nice. It does have a little bit of cosmetic wear on it. However, with 69,000 miles, that's to be expected. It does have a few modifications like exhaust, intake, pedal commander, things like that. And have I left? Yep, keys are in the ignition, okay. Uh, nice seats here. Not, it's kind of leather kind of a vinyl, I, th I think it's closer to vinyl than it is leather. And then it has this nice, uh, interesting texture close to a cloth feeling. Really interesting texture on the seats. It does not feel like your standard cloth. It does have the uh, Arctic logo embroidered there in the seat. Oh. Starts right up. No warnings, no issues on the gauge cluster. Everything is happy there. One touch windows for the front two. We've got heated front seats, power adjustable side mirrors, uh, blind spot side mirrors. We've got some kicker tweeters up front. And I'm assuming probably more of the speakers have been replaced as well. It does have a, uh, I believe a 10 inch subwoofer also. 110 volt outlet plug in there, 12 volts, four wheel drive of course, five speed audio, auto, five speed automatic, uh, clean cup holders there, seats, uh, front seats are in great condition, door panels look really nice, no issues with the dash, very little wear on the steering wheel, we've got just a little bit of fading there at the top, a little bit of fading here at the bottom and some of the finish has failed a little bit around the buttons. So that is the interior. Rear view mirror does have a little bit of a, maybe discoloration, not really sure what to call that. And here in the back, of course, we have a vinyl floor mats. Help keep the Jeep clean. Uh, the center here does have a little bit of marking on the seat. It's nothing crazy. Like I said, it is kind of a vinyl material, so it does feel like it's built to take some abuse and uh, it may have seen a little bit in its day. It does have aftermarket hood latches, which are really easy to deal with. Just pull them back press the hood down a little bit and then pull it back. Really, really easy. I think they're a lot more cooperative than the factory ones, but they're also, uh, they feel safer. They feel better built. They're not cheap and plastic. They're, you know, strong quality aluminum ones. So you don't have to worry about them failing. And got the hood prop in. Our 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 with a K&N cold air intake. I do believe it has a cat back as well. Idles really smooth, runs and drives great. No issues. And it is super easy to get these back on. Virtually no effort at all. Typically the uh, factory ones, you have to fight them a little bit. And these ones are real easy and they snap into place uh, real hard. So you do get that nice sense of security knowing that they are not gonna be going anywhere. They work really well. 
So that is our 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara Arctic Edition. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this vehicle on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.